magandang araw sa lahat. Again, this is the Resistance Trader Channel and you are tuned in to our video for today. Our video for today is discussing about price action. How to trade price action means. Marami sa mga traders ang madalas naririnig yung salitang price action. Most of the time, hindi din nila naiintindihan what that means. And today, in our video, we will show you and we will unravel this mystery called price action. It's actually quite simple as a strategy. And so without further ado, let me proceed with what the topics for today will be. Today, our topic will discuss about what is price action, number one. Number two, the tools used for price action strategy and price action trading steps. And also, as a as a tip and as a bonus, we will be giving price patterns that you should remember when you are trading price action. First, let's define what price action is. According to Invisopedia.com, price action is the movement of security price or the asset price flatted against time. So, price action forms the basis for all technical analysis. Again, let me repeat that. Halos at every technical analysis that is available out there in the market, may it be stocks, commodity, or other asset, cryptocurrency even, marami sa mga short-term traders, they rely exclusively on price action. But in the long run, all of your indicators known is actually derived from price action formation. And... Technical analysis is a practice of derivative of price action since it uses past prices. So, it's sabihin, tinitignan niya yung mga nakaraang presyo and do some calculations and give you possible prediction to inform you kung ano yung pwedeng trading decision. Now, what's the point of saying this? The point is, if you yourself will understand how price action works, all of those indicators will be just a confirmatory and you can base your trades kung saan actually pupunta si market. But before we proceed with that, let me take note of this. Ang price action generally refers to the up and down movement of a price when it's plotted over time. So for the case ng forex and cryptocurrency, which is actually volatile, you will have to learn a lot more than price action, also the candle patterns, also the price patterns, for you to come up with a very effective price action strategy. So different looks can be applied to a chart. That's the second look. To make trends in price action more obvious for traders. What does that mean? Ibig sabihin yan, pwedeng magkaiba yung basa mo sa chart versus that of the other traders when we are talking about price action. So, the technical analysis formation and chart patterns are derived from price action. Sabi natin ganina. So, all of these tools are calculate, calculated based on projections from the past prices and emanating to the future kung saan ka pupunta. Now, note mo rin, what does price action tell you? How do you do, how do you know what the, does what does the price action tell you? It's by using the tools for price action strategy which we will discuss on the next slide. It's used for price action strategy notes. Since price action trading relates to recent historical data, it's a bit of a bit So, kung ano yung nakikita mo sa chart mo, yan na yun. Diba? And past price movement, all technical analysis tools like charts, trend line, price bands, high and low swing, technical levels, support and resistance basically, etc. are taken into account as per the trader's choice and strategy fit. So, there is no one Wala isa or single price action strategy that works. Ano, let me reiterate that. Ha? Ang price action strategy, wala siyang isang 
strategy lang when it's a universal work. No? Kasi we are dealing with volatile prices here. So what we actually do is to understand based from experience also. So itong price action strategy, this very well fits mga traders na talagang nagta-trade na and may experience na how the price action strategy works. Now, the tools and patterns observed by the trader can simple price bar, price band, breakout, trend line, iba-iba yan eh. So, later I will show you what will, what will be the different um, observed patterns na pwede mong gamitin and will fit your personal trading strategy and trading technique. So, lagi ang sinasabi natin, the price action strategy that we work on or we use will be based kung ano ang trade plan mo. So, again, for those who did not know, uh, meron tayo mga previous videos about trading journal, etc. We were very strict that you have to plan your trade. So, this one, you will use all of this stuff that we're teaching you right now. Once you have in mind the plans that you will be doing when you start trading. So, this is part 2. No? So, mga bagong nag-subscribe or bagong nanonood, you have to learn to plan your trade. So you have to check our video discussing about part 1, which is having a trading journal. This one is the second part, which is the price action strategy. Now, let's proceed. Madalas ang itsura ng mga technical analysis ng mga, lalo na mga novi traders, so it look like this. And then, halo-halo na lahat ng indicators na alam, natutunan nila, nabasa nila sa libro, napanood nila sa video. So, ganito ang itsura. Diba? Ang dami-dami-daming, uh, we call this strategies na nilagay, ang dami-daming mga indicators na nilagay, uh, nandyan na si Bollinger Bands, si VWAP, Andiyan na rin, andiyan lahat ng MA, may buy bots pa, may support and resistance pa, may MACD pa, may Jollibee pa, <laughs> may Jollibee pa. Anyway, dagdagawa ng KFC, no? Parang sobrang dami. Ganito yan, no? Ganito yan ang graph nila. Med medyo nakakatawa, di ba? But once in our lives, even for me, I'll admit, once in our lives, as a trader, lalo na ng mga bago pa, ganito ang itsura din ng graphs natin. What I'm trying to point out is if we are doing price action strategy, you wanted to avoid this kind of graph because the lesser noise that the graph has, the more effective your trading strategy will be. Again, the more lesser noise. So, BNB kailangan lahat ng indicators landon sa graph mo. What you actually need to understand in the price action strategy is how the price of an asset works either short time or long time. Okay? What are the price action trading steps? Yan. So, even if we have different kinds of reading sa price action, there's a universal rule to apply kung ano yung step-by-step -step guide on using price action as a strategy. Handa na ba kayo? So, number one, based on your trading plan, again, based on your trading plan, you have to identify a scenario like a stock price getting into a bull or bear, bear pace. Meaning to say, know the trend. Alamin mo ano yung trend para sa'yo right now. Now, number two, within that scenario, you have to identify your possible trading opportunities. What does that mean? So, kung nakita mo na bullish ngayon, maghahanap ka ng best possession na bullish. Tama? But of course, that will depend on your target. Will you be a scalper? Will you be a swinger? A day trader? Or long term? Depende sa'yo. But, when you saw this one, you will have to include in your plan na ito yung gagawin mo. Like, once a stock is in a bull run, for example, titignan mo, mag-aabang ka na overshoot, mag-aabang ka ng retreat. What's an overshoot? Ito yung pumps. Kaya tawag natin, pag nag-pump yung asset, aabangan mo yan kasi bullish. So, 
you will base your price action trading strategy kung ano yung trend. Okay? The trend is your friend. Let me repeat that. So, when you see that the price action is going up, ang aabangan mo is when is the best time to buy, kung mag-a-trade or shoot ba, or kung nagre-retreat ba yan ngayon, or nagre-retrace, tawagin natin. This is completely subjective. Kasi depende yan kung anong time frame yung tinitignan mo. Kaya dun sa mga tao na nagpa-price action strategy, magugulat yan, magtataka. Why is my reading, for example, different from his or her reading? Kasi, potentially, magkaiba kami ng time frame na tinitignan. Let me, let take note of this, guys. Different price action or different time frames. Now, here are a few examples. A stop reaches its high as per the trader's view. Ibig sabihin, yun na yung pinaka resistance level. Yung pinaka mataas na pwede niyang tamaan sa time frame na ngayon. For example, one hour time frame. And then, retreats to a slightly lower level. Namit yung scenario. Nag-retreat, nag-retrace. The trader can decide right now whether he or she thinks it will form a double top, a go higher, or drop further following a reversal or a retracement. So, again, titignan mo based on your analysis, personal analysis, if that price level for you is the current support and resistance. And when it rejects, titignan mo kung yun ba ay totoo rejection or retracement or it's just nagpapahinga lang and will pump bigla-bigla na lang after some time. So, nangyayari yan, guys. That's the first example. Now, the second example, the trader sets up a floor and ceiling so for a particular price. For example, ang assumption mo, pinakamataas na nga niya, pagaya ka nito. Uh, tapos, kung nakita mo na low yung volatility, hindi yan mag-break out. Ibig sabihin, kung mababa yung volume din, hindi yan mag-break out. So, maglalaro lang yan doon sa tinrowing or ginawa mo na support and resistance and during that time you can decide you can or you cannot diba? if you can or you cannot scalp on those levels diba? so the trader can take positions assuming the set floor is acting as a support and resistance or take an, an alternate view pwede rin naman na iba yung iniisip mo na nagpapahinga lang yan at aangat pa or bago ba talaga so number three example A divine breakout scenario being met and then trading opportunity existing in terms of breakout continuation. So there, there are what we call pattern continuations. So kung nakita mo na nagre-retreat yung presyo, that, that, that doesn't necessarily mean na bababa na yan. Pwedeng paakyat pa. How would you know? By checking the patterns of your price action based on known patterns to traders. So, in the later part, I will show you the patterns that you will remember, that you should remember when you are using price action trading steps. Okay? Are you ready? Let's go. Here one of the patterns, or the few patterns that you have to remember. These are the reversal chat patterns, cheat sheet. So, mayroon tinatawag na bearish double top. How does it look like? It looks like on the upper left corner of this picture, na ibig sabihin niyan, galing ka sa pump, nag-pump, naumpog, bumaba at a certain level. After bumaba, umakyat ulit at naumpog ulit and then bababa siya doon sa same level. At this point in time, you can either check and validate all your indicators if it's indeed bearish already and you can position a sell position or check kung ito ay bullish pattern continuation o depende sa'yo but you have to check the previous patterns as well and later I will tell you that you also have to check yung itsura ng mga candle because the candles also tells you something okay so it's very tricky price action is actually a strategy that needs ultimate experience for people na nagtitrade kailangan experience ka na na trader para malaman mo na yung pattern is indeed bearish, bullish, or sideways. Okay? 
So, yeah, take note of this. The bearish head and shoulder, it's a win, ayun yung ulo, yung may balikat, galing siya sa baba, potentially yung baba. Yung bearish rising wedge, or the bearish expanding triangle. Now, the bearish triple top, ito, galing siya sa side risk. Ibig sabihin, possible na bumaba yan kasi tatlong beses nang nakukumpog si price action doon sa resistance mo. Now, there's also a bullish double bottom. Ito yung kabaliktaran ng bearish. So, possible from up, bumaba, bumaba at a certain level, bumaba ulit at noong po, pwede mag-continuously up yan. There's also a bullish head and shoulders na binaliktad. There are also bullish falling wedge. So, ito yung mga patterns na to. Ito yung kabaliktaran ng kanina sa bearish. Okay? So, by the way, guys, there is no 100% correct patterns. Sometimes you will see these patterns, but it will not happen. Okay? So, price action is a combination of different patterns and uh, price picture ng kandila that you have to remember. And also, kung ano picture ng support and resistance mo. It involves you to actually read most, if not all, charts in your, ano, in your, in your platform. For example, kailangan mo tignan lahat ng time trade from 12 hours down to the 1 minute before you actually confirm to yourself that, ah, ito magiging position ko for today. Okay? Next, pattern to remember is the candle pattern called a bullet harangos. Ano yung ibig sabihin ng bullish harami cross? Pag uh, galing ka, limbawa, sa isang downtrend or uptrend, nakakita ka ng manipis na cross ng kandila. Ayan, kagaya ng nasa araw natin right now. Then, potentially, there can be a reversal of trend. What does that mean? Bitin ko ah. If galing ka sa taas, and bumababa yung presyo, and then, at the middle of the price action, you saw a bullish harami cross right after the continuous downtrend. Then it might signal that there is a potential reversal. So mag-aabang ka rin ng buy signal kung galing ka sa sell or mag-aabang ka ng sell signal kung galing ka sa buy. Okay? Now, here's another pattern, candle pattern that you should always remember. The bullish engulfing and the bearish engulfing. What does a bullish engulfing look like? Ito yun. Ibig sabihin, may nagaling ka rin sa taas, pababa. And there's a trend na bumababa yung presyo. Red lahat ng candle. And then all of a sudden, a larger, bigger green candle appeared after a red candle. There's a potential bullish reversal kung galing ka sa trend na bearish. The same goes for bearish engulfing. If for example pump ng pump yung, uh, yung asset and uh, tumama na siya sa resistance and when the resistance was met, suddenly a bigger red candle appeared. So that's a potential sign that there can be a bearish reversal. Okay, so that's how it looks like. Eh? And then, you can screenshot this one, you can save this to your phone, always display this on your screen para pag nakakita ka ng pattern, madali mo siyang maintindihan. The next candle pattern to remember when you're using price action are the three white soldiers. Now, for those who are using green, that's three green soldiers, okay? The three green soldiers and the three black crows or dun sa mga gumagamit ng red and green pattern it's a three red crows so what does that mean? after some time na nagka-trend pababa yung market nakakita ka ng doji doji itong isa no? there's a doji there and then all of a sudden there are three green or white candles for this example three white candles na nag-appear ng sunod-sunod then it's a possible sign that the pattern have been reversed and it will be going bullish now. 
the same goes kung galing ka naman sa baba pa akyat when you see a uh, you saw a doji sa taas and then after you saw a doji there's a three candle na pababa na mahahaba kang nakita and then there's a potential that there can be a bearish reversal okay there are a lot more patterns that you can always check out so hindi natin kaya ng ibang there are a thousand patterns out there like the pumpkin handle meron pang mga tinatawag na bullish pennant etc along the way when you're trading you will understand all of those things but for now What are the basic things you need to remember when you're using price action? Number one rule, there is no chart of all price action. And then number two rule, actually, this is cardinal rule for all traders that you have to plan your trade and you have to trade your plan. And last but not the least, never rely on a single price pattern to enter a trade. Always check patterns from previous time frames etc okay so that is how basically the price action strategy works again thank you very much for tuning in today to our channel watching this video please like our facebook page and our facebook groups you can also join our telegram group we have a telegram group and subscribe to our youtube channel now Thank you very much sa lahat. Maraming salamat. Let's keep continuing growing together. And I'm out.